new features in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, more info about Apex Legends Season 5, DICE confirms a new Battlefield game is coming on its way, and so much more. Hey what's up everybody, welcome to a new episode of Top Gaming News, my name is Gavin Mandis and today we're gonna jump into some really cool news coming up. A new Assassin's Creed game is coming up that is called Assassin's Creed Valhalla which is based upon Vikings which initially I was not very excited about but the trailer hyped me up. So in Valhalla you will be playing as a character named Ivar which you can choose to be a male or a female. This won't affect the game in any way possible because it will only be a character choice. So if you want to be a male you can be a male, if you want to be a female you want to be a female, that's, that's it. So we are leaving Norway and we are moving towards England where we will be building up a settlement over there. Now this game as everybody knows is one type of an RPG game and it will be based around your settlement that you will always come back to. It's like your own village that you will grow and prosper and that your viking mates will live in. Major story arcs will begin and end there and you will also have an option of romance. So not so sure how exactly that romance will be but uh, there's an option. So you will go on in an adventure and then come back to your settlement maybe to have an upgrade to your village, add new buildings such as barracks, tattoo parlors or blacksmiths. Now the villain in this game as far as we know is King Alfred that you already saw in the trailer and you will be meeting him in Britain and of course you will be raging a war against the king. Now King Alfred is a very important historical figure so it will be interesting to see how Assassin's Creed Valhalla will handle this king and according to Eurogamer there are lots of nuances coming from the king. Another cool thing in this game is that it can wield dual weapons so which means if you want two shields you can go for it. If you want two weapons of the same kind go for it. That's that's very cool which was taken away from Odyssey and a lot of people were complaining about it so here we go Valhalla will have that. Oh yes you also see this hooded figure in the trailer which initially I thought is an assassin of some kind but I was wrong because the character then says that Odin is with us and then he has a raven that flies by. So apparently in this game you will also be meeting these Greek gods and they are believed to go around and witness different wars which is in Viking spirituality. As for raven it will be your animal companion which is similar to that of an eagle but it has more new features which has not been shown or revealed because it will go into the spoiler territory of things. Now the game is supposedly coming out on holiday 2020 and is coming out on all platforms but on PC it will be exclusive to Epic Store and Uplay. And now this is going to be the first time an Assassin's Creed is not coming to Steam and the reason why Ubisoft is not pushing their games to Steam is because they believe that the business model of Steam is unrealistic. What are your thoughts on Valhalla? Are you excited about this game? I believe that the game story will be good and the gameplay element will be fresh and new and unlike Assassin's Creed 3 or Brotherhood type of gameplay. So if you're expecting that game or that kind of look or feel of the game to Valhalla then you will be disappointed because it is a completely different type of direction where Assassin's Creed is heading on to right now. Battlefield 5 EA's not so popular video game is wrapping up with their updates. That means that this will be the final update for the game and after that they won't be working on Battlefield 5. The game has one more update that will be coming around June which will include more weapons, more new content and some game tweaks. Overall Battlefield 5 didn't perform that well because first of all it was a World War 2 game, second it was their own version of World War 2 game which changed the World War 2 setting in various ways possible so people were kind of not happy with it and then the multiplayer aspect of the game well it turned out to be not so great as well. So now Battlefield 5 has been pushing out these updates that have brought some players back to the game but not so much and people in spite of playing Battlefield 5 are playing Battlefield 4 now. Now that Battlefield 5 is going to stop pushing their updates, this is going to be the last one, it seems like they are already pushing for the next Battlefield game. DICE has confirmed that a new Battlefield game is coming up next year on 2021 in April. Back in 2019 EA actually mentioned that there will be a new Battlefield game in the company's fiscal year of 2022 that is from April 2021 to March 2022 and now it seems like the game is coming on April 2021. Nothing has been revealed yet but they have hinted that this title will be targeting new innovations with the help of the next gen consoles. Now by the time this new Battlefield game comes out, PS5 and Xbox Series X will already be out and people will already be using it so it will be a perfect time for Battlefield the new one to come out on these consoles. Now the last two Battlefield games were based on World War and the game has not set foot into modern shooting ever since Battlefield Hardline which was not much of a Battlefield game because it was completely off. 
Battlefield. So it's time now for Battlefield to make a modern shooter game similar to that of Battlefield 4 but different with new storyline, better multiplayer and everybody's gonna love it. I believe in Battlefield. According to you, what do you think should be in this new Battlefield game? Let me know all of that in the comments below. The day when Assassin's Creed trailer came out, the same day an Apex Legends video also came out and that was about this new character that they're bringing in Season 5. To be honest, I actually forgot that I'm playing Season 4. I thought I'm still playing Season 3. Time flies by, man. So Apex Legends is coming with Season 5 and it is named Fortune's Favor and will be coming on May 12th with a new character named Loba. As we see in the trailer, Loba is a thief, but we don't know exactly what her abilities will be. But we do see in the trailer that she can teleport, which means that might be one of her abilities. To be honest, if teleportation is the ability, I want it to look like Moira's ability from Overwatch instead of having the same ability that Wraith has, which makes no sense. But it depends what kind of teleportations they want to cook up to. Now it seems like if you launch Apex Legends right now and stay in the main menu for long enough, you will actually see Loba just walking by in the back, teleporting from one location to the other. So that's, that's cool. Now Season 5 will also add quests, which is a new mode in the game and it could be a PvP VE or PvE mode and it seems like it would be somehow connected to Titanfall but other than that, there aren't much details out yet. Apex Legends recently made a big update by making duos a permanent mode as well as adding map rotation and now quickly they're moving to season 5 so it seems like they are going by very very fast this time around. Now it could be very possible that this new season might be bringing out a new map because judging by the way Apex Legends was going, the first two seasons was based on the first map Kings Canyon, then the next two seasons were based on World's Edge so it might be possible that a new map is coming by but I can't say because I might be stupid but we have to wait I guess. Nonetheless, I'm very excited about Apex Legends because it is a fun playing battle royale game that you can have so much fun with your friends. So I'm excited to see how season 5 comes around, how Loba comes around and what her abilities will be. It's just gonna be interesting but we have to wait. Not so long, for a little while. Well oh well it looks like Valorant is not done with cheaters because now aimbots and wall hacks are being discovered by players in the beta version of the game. Before this, Riot did ban cheaters from the game based on their Vanguard anti-cheat system. But it looks like Vanguard is not able to detect the aimbots and wall hacks at this very moment. A Reddit player shows that they found a player in their own team who was aimbotting and so they were trying to have fun with him by blocking him wherever he goes so that he cannot aimbot. But they did see some spectating results of where he was aimbotting to the highest. Another person actually found that a player was able to see through the poison cloud because the settings were so low that it was as if the poison cloud was not even there. The anti-cheat lead has told. Now the anti-cheat lead has told that they are working on with Nvidia to solve this issue right now. He also says that they are delaying these intermediate bans because they want these cheaters to actually know that hey, Vanguard is not able to detect these hacks and then later on a wave of bans will come across that will ban everybody at one go. Now that's a good thing but it also means that everybody will have to play at some point with these cheaters which is going to be frustrating and it's just not going to be that much of a fun time to play with them until the time comes when Vanguard will ban each and every one of those cheaters for good. Now Riot is also working on AI driven aimbot detection which is similar to that of Vacnet which is something Valve uses. So are they taking cues and design ideas from Valve or is it just a different kind of thing? But you know, cheaters are everywhere. Even though the game uses the best anti-cheat system, there will be some kind of cheaters. But it depends upon the system itself, how they're gonna handle those cheaters sooner rather than later. One of the things that was supposed to happen was E3 and iPhone, I'm very excited to watch E3 because you get so many new trailers, so many surprise world premieres, game demos and so much more. But because of this growing epidemic, E3 had to be cancelled. And of course, everybody is very very disappointed for that. Well, it looks like something is going to replace E3 this year because Jeff Keighley very recently announced on Twitter about an online event called Summer Game Fest which will bring 16 of industry's biggest publishers from Sony to Activision to Microsoft to even Bethesda into one online event. This will be a 4 month online event which will showcase new gameplays, maybe new updates on games, new trailers, game demos and so much more. 
The online event is going to happen from May till August. So get ready for some amazing announcements, game demos and some cool new trailers and even updates on various amount of games. It seems like this event is also going to be streamed in every major platform from YouTube to Facebook to Twitch and to even Mixer. And all the game demos that will be released on that day will be playable on all major platforms and hopefully that it comes out on that day itself. Now Nintendo was not present in this summer fest announcement so someone asked Jeff in Reddit AMA about Nintendo and he said that Nintendo is always welcome. He also said that each publisher will share news whenever they can. It seems like each publisher will not get a conference per se but they will share the news and updates about their games in whichever way possible. For now the dates are not mentioned yet but I don't think so you have to wait for any time long because this week later on we will also have the first look into Xbox Series X gameplay in the Xbox digital event. So are you excited about Summer Game Fest? I for one am very excited to see how this goes because I want to see updates on various games for example Beyond Good and Evil 2. Gosh that game is just like vanished out of thin air I don't know what's happening with that game so I hope that Ubisoft will be able to share some updates in this summer game fest. But there you have it. This was the episode of Top Gaming News. Thank you so much guys for watching this episode. Let me know in the comments below what are you excited about the most and also don't forget to hit the like button and click on subscribe to watch more content from Gamer Connect. Make sure to follow us on all social media platforms to know everything about Gamer Connect and also join Gamer Connect community on Facebook so that you can take part in various activities, discussions that happens every day actually every minute so it's really fun to take part in those so definitely join us my name is Gwyn Manis and i'll see you guys in another video